Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of 2x squared, square root of x dx. So we can simplify first this expression. So we can multiply x squared and square root of x. So we will have integral of 2, x squared times, let's transform first square root of x into fractional exponent. So that's the same as x raised to 1 half dx. So we will have integral of 2 times, so x squared times x raised to 1 half. So since we have multiplication of same base x, you copy the same base x and add the exponent 2 plus 1 half. So we know that 2 plus 1 half, that's equal to 5 halves. And to evaluate this integral, we can apply the power rule. That is, if we have the integral of x to the n dx, it's equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, provided that n is not equal to negative 1. So we can put these two in front of the integral first since it's just a constant. So we'll have 2 times the integral of x raised to 5 halves dx. And applying the power rule, we'll have 2 times integral of x raised to 5 halves. That's x raised to 5 halves plus 1 over the same exponent, 5 halves plus 1 plus c. So simplifying, we will have 2 times x raised to 5 halves plus 1, that's 7 halves. Over 5 halves plus 1, 7 halves plus c. And then we need to simplify 2 over 7 halves. So we copy the numerator 2 times the reciprocal of the denominator 7 halves to 7 x raised to 7 halves plus c. So 2 times 2 sevenths, that will be 4 sevenths, x raised to 7 halves plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of x squared plus 5 times the cube root of x plus 1 dx. So we can multiply first these two binomials using FOIL method. So we can rewrite this cube root of x as x raised to one third using fractional exponent. So we'll have integral of, so first to first, x squared times x to the one third. So copy the same base x and add the exponent 2 plus one third. So 2 plus one third, that's equal to seven thirds. Okay, next outer to outer, x squared times 1, positive x squared. Then inner to inner, we have positive 5 times x to the 1 third, 5x to the 1 third. Then last to last, 5 times 1, 5. And then we can distribute the integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term. So we will have integral of x raised to 7 thirds dx plus integral of x squared dx, plus, so this 5 is constant, just put in front of the integral, we have positive 5 times integral of x raised to 1 third dx, plus 5 put in front of the integral, times integral of dx. So, evaluating each term for the first one using power rule again, integral of x to the 7 thirds, that's x raised to 7 thirds plus 1, over 7 thirds plus 1. So if you simplify 7 thirds plus 1, that will be 10, 10 over 3, over 7 thirds plus 1, 10 over 3. Plus, integral of x squared, that's x raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, or simply x cubed over 3 plus 5 times integral of x raised to 1 third, so that's x raised to 1 third plus 1 over 1 third plus 1. But 1 third plus 1, that's equal to 4 thirds, then over the same exponent, 4 thirds. Plus 5 times integral of dx, that's x, then plus c. So get the reciprocal of this fraction, so we will have 3 tenths, x raised to 10 over 3, then just copy this x cubed over 3, so that's the same as 1 third x cubed, right? Plus 5 times reciprocal of 4 thirds, 3 fourths, so that will be 5 times 3 fourths or 15 over 4. 
times x raised to 4 thirds, then plus 5x plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of x cubed over 3 square root of x dx. So let's try to transform first square root of x into fractional exponent. So that's the same as x raised to 1 half. So this time we're dividing same base, right? So what's the rule for exponent if we're dividing same base? So we will have integral of, so copy the same base x, but this time subtract the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. Then over 3 dx. So if we simplify 3 minus 1 half, so that will be 5 halves. Okay, so we can put this one-third in front of the integral. It's just a constant. So we'll have one-third integral of x raised to 5 halves dx. Applying power rule here. So we will have one-third integral of x raised to 5 halves. That's x raised to 5 halves plus 1 over the same exponent, 5 halves plus 1 plus c. But what is 5 halves plus 1? So that's 7 halves over 5 halves plus 1. Also, 7 halves. So, simplify the coefficient. So, we need to divide 1 third by 7 halves. So, copy the numerator 1 third times the reciprocal of the denominator 7 halves, 2 sevenths. So, that will be 1 times 2, 2 over 3 times 7, 21. So, 2 over 21 times x raised to 7 halves plus c. So, this is the final answer. Okay, for number 4, we have the integral of 5x to the 4th minus 1 over the 4th root of x dx. So, let's transform first this 4th root of x as fractional exponent. So, that's the same as x raised to 1 fourth. So, we can distribute this x raised to 1 fourth, meaning divide each term on the numerator by x raised to 1 fourth. So, we will have integral of 5x to the 4th over x raised to 1 4th minus 1 over x raised to 1 4th. And then simplify. So, integral of 5, again, we're dividing same base x to the 4th over x to 1 4th. So, copy the same base x. Then subtract the exponent 4 minus 1 4th. So, if you simplify 4 minus 1 4th, that will be... 15 over 4, right? Minus, then for this 1 over x to the 1 fourth, let's just transform this into negative exponent so that we can apply power rule to evaluate its integral. So it's the same as x to the negative 1 fourth. So we can distribute the integral symbol together with the dx. So we will have 5 put in front of the integral times the integral of x raised to 15 over 4 minus x to the negative 1 fourth dx. Okay, I forget to put the x here. So evaluating each integral, we have 5 times integral of x raised to 15 over 4 applying power rule, x raised to 15 over 4 plus 1 over 15 over 4 plus 1. So let's simplify. What's 15 over 4 plus 1? That's 19 over 4, right? Over 15 over 4 plus 1, 19 over 4 as well. Minus integral of x to the negative 1 fourth. So x to the negative 1 fourth plus 1 over the same exponent, negative 1 fourth plus 1. Simplifying negative 1 fourth plus 1, that's positive 3 fourths over negative 1 fourth plus 1, 3 fourths. Then put plus c. So we simplify each coefficient. So, for the first one, we have 5 times the reciprocal of 19 over 4, 4 over 19. So, that will be 5 times 4, 20 over 19. Then, times x to the 19 over 4. Then, minus, so just get the reciprocal of 3 fourths, that's 4 thirds, times x raised to 3 fourths plus c. So, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.